Hey there. Did you get a chance to watch NASA's footage that captured Perseverance's landing on Mars? I don't know about you, but we can't simply get enough. What is interesting is that a parachute that helped the rover land had a hidden encoded message. Now, did you know that? I am Nidhi Kumar and you are watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the latest that science has to offer. Join us in this journey where we bring you stories that could stir your curiosity, zeal and passion. In today's episode, we will talk about Mars rover's parachute, sun's differential rotation and how Cardassians can protect themselves from cancer and single dose COVID vaccines. Without further ado, let's dive into our program. Our first story puts a spotlight on a hidden message etched into the parachute's underside that helped Perseverance land safely on the red planet. NASA released footage of Perseverance's touchdown. As the rover plunged into Mars' thin atmosphere, the parachute exploded open. Its job was to slow down the rover from about 12,500 miles per hour. The parachute in question is anything but ordinary. Measuring 70 feet in diameter, the parachute was the largest ever sent to Mars. It was also the strongest as it was made of nylon, Tekanora and Kevlar. During a press conference, scientists revealed that the parachute had a secret binary code. It didn't take long for certain enthusiasts to decode the message. The message was, Dare Mighty Things, a quote from the former US President Theodore Roosevelt. Also mentioned was the GPS coordinates of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. All of this is pretty amazing, isn't it? So there's a lot to look forward to from this mission. From perseverance hunting for clues on ancient microbial life to the first helicopter flight on another planet. Watch out. And moving on from Mars, did you know that the sun rotates on its axis? But that, it is quite different from the Earth and other planets. The sun's equatorial regions rotate faster than the poles. Scientists call this differential rotation. Recently, a team of Indian researchers have collected data on the sun's rotation in the last 100 years from footages thanks to the Kodai Canal Solar Observatory. You might be wondering why one should study the sun's rotation. Well, we'll connect the dots for you. As you might know, the sun is a ball of hot plasma. As it moves, it generates a magnetic field which flips every 11 years. When this happens, the sun's behavior changes, causing it to fluctuate between periods of high and low activity. And this is called the solar cycle. The solar cycle is something to watch out because it impacts space weather, which can interfere with satellites, astronauts and GPS signals. Predicting the solar cycle could help us avoid adverse effects. So scientists rely on an essential feature of the sun, sunspots. These are dark and cool spots appearing on the surface. In these regions, the magnetic field's intensity is higher than that of the other parts of the sun. It is 2500 times stronger than Earth's impressive. Isn't it? Now you might be wondering why sunspots appear in the first place. As the sun rotates, the magnetic field twists and tangles. A lot of twisting of the magnetic field can give rise to many sunspots. These more larger sunspots have a higher magnetic field and hence rotate slowly. On the other hand, smaller ones have a lower magnetic field causing them to rotate relatively faster. With this, scientists hope to predict solar cycles and space weather. And moving on to our next story, very interesting one that is, whales, dolphins and porpoises do a better job at evading cancer than humans. And now we might be closer to understanding why Cartesians can do this. The larger the number of an organism, the more number of cells it has and thus a higher risk that some of them could become cancerous. But whales and dolphins are outliers as they have evolved ways to protect themselves from cancer. How, you may ask? To find answers, scientists studied about 1077 tumor suppressors genes evolved in 15 mammalian species 
including seven Cartesian species. TSDs have a crucial function, which is to prevent cells from turning cancerous. Researchers found that Cartesians gained and lost TSGs at a rate 2.4 times higher than in other mammals. The study found signs of positive selection in genes regulating DNA damage, tumor spreading and immunity in Cartesians. It also found duplicate copies of 71 genes involved in fighting cancer and 11 others linked with longevity. This is indeed quite impressive. The study has the potential to offer a lot more. Finding genes that play a role in suppressing tumors in other animals could allow us to understand how they manage to keep cancer at bay. Scientists could then perhaps apply this piece of information to design anti-cancer drugs for humans. This could potentially be one of the biggest advances in the history of medical science. So watch out. And we have some good news for people awaiting COVID vaccination, especially for those finding two doses a little cumbersome. Studies have given us reason to believe that a single dose COVID-19 vaccine might enter the market very soon. A recent study found that a single dose of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine offered 76% protection against COVID-19 symptoms within 22 days. And single dose vaccines could help countries facing vaccine shortages and scarce resources. The strategy could mean more people will have access to COVID-19 jabs. But remember, vaccines are important and will help you keep the virus away. So maintain social distancing, mask up and register yourself on the COVID app. Go get your vaccine, India. And with that, friends, this is a wrap on this edition of Science Time. Stay with us every Friday at 9 p.m. and keep watching India Science. Namaskar. Mm -hmm.